Welcome back to Crypto's Juiciest News, baby dolls. We're seeing a Bitcoin price of about $58,000. We are continuing our blood spree. It's around 58K. That is about a 20% drawdown from the top. This is very normal. We had three of them last year. They reset the narrative each time. If this is going to reset again, that means that Soylana, Coinbase, AI coins, Bitcoin DeFi, congratulations. You had your chance to rotate into either more BTC, ETH, or another core layer one coin. You has messed it up because you're probably going to keep ble bleeding out. Now, I hope it continues going up for all the coins up there. It's just that the odds are really against your favor in terms of the narrative returning. Because what ends up happening now, friends, is <clears throat> there is always a new cohort of people entering over time, and then they choose new things. Because, for example, if they were really in the mood for Chainlink, they would already be in now. They came in in 2020. There are people out there that might be in the mood for Pulse Chain and Pulsex. Guess what? They've heard about it. They have heard about it, friends. A lot of people have. But there are other people out there, no idea about crypto. They're the exit liquidity that everybody calls the, the pure emotional money, the retailers. This includes funds, by the way, funds, Wall Street people. There are suckers out there who are going to get crushed. They're going to be DCA buying the tops. They're going to use their own models. They're never going to get out. They're going to get in too, too, too high. And those are the types of things that are going to come in later. But we are only unlocking them at higher prices, okay? So right now, we still have this date with the devil. It's funny, friends. We come back now. It's interesting, right? We move it away. It's right near that 29 EMA, did it pretty much touch it. We're just going to leave it there just so we can see. So I always know that a 20% drawdown move is very, very common and normal to see. We are on the second red monthly candle now for Bitcoin. Friends, just go back, friends, by the way, by the way. How much shit did I cop for trying to alarm everybody here? On the one, two, three, four, five, sixth green monthly candle. I was like, guys, really be careful. But look what ends up happening. By the way, I, I told you this would happen. Okay, friends, let's actually play some nice. Let's play some nice heavy beats for us. We went through this last year. How many times did I say, there will be a moment where things are gonna go stupid. And then people are gonna say, guess what? It's actually stupid now, be careful. Then the market price will go higher. And the remaining participants will say, Ludacris, heretic, you say you were wrong, you were wrong, it's going higher. They don't know that they just have the final round of suckers right before them. Many altcoins went, Wee! they've done heavy, heavy, deeper retraces, okay? That's why it's important, friends, you can't expect yourself to pick the exact top. Who was to expect racist coins to come up? You don't know, man. You see six green monthly candles. You saw people doing leverage and borrowing. You just don't know how far these things are going to go. But if you have this attitude of like, well, things are getting silly, it can keep getting more silly. You are going to be one of the survivors who comes out at the end. Now, this is the chain link chart, friends. Still rounding off here. Still rounding off. It's going to be a while. When do the chain link buyers actually come in to get unlocked? It is the new round of retailers, friends. And yeah, I don't know if we're ever going to see like a, a giant new link ETH ratio. It's almost impossible for a lot of these things to come out, but... It's the same thing with every other coin. New retailers come in and they unlock they unlock higher prices, but it just it takes time to get there. You need to see maybe a Bitcoin 100K mark. We don't know. We don't know what the catalyst is. Otherwise, otherwise you just buy on that exact catalyst. With time, though, it does come. This is the Pulse Chain versus ETH ratio, of course. It has been absolutely, this is the, this is the higher price price. It has been obliterated beyond imagination. We're down 91% against ETH. Think about that. So, you know, people say, well, aren't you meant to be a better ETH? I know, friends, that, that things that are designed and your talking points and out there, it doesn't really matter, man. When you have the first mover advantage, nearly impossible to crush. Remember, all the innovation and everything's on ETH. So it is the speed. And you can, you can argue about correlations and is something moving around. It doesn't really matter. You, you already know the point, okay? We are not an industry leader. If you are outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum, you don't lead shit, pretty much. If you do, let me know about it because you're a unicorn. Uniswap led the industry. Guess what? They screwed up their token supply. They have too many VCs, insiders, and they don't have enough buy and burn. And now the SEC's taking them on anyway. Just imagine that. Just imagine Uniswap. Look how much time. You know how much friends? They should be hundreds of billions of market cap higher, but they're not. Look at what a waste of time. They literally just wasted three freaking years sucking off the corrupt SEC under the table, begging them not to go after them. The corrupt SEC sees whack a mole. They're like, oh my gosh, screw it. Let's just take them on to spook the whole industry. Let's take on the corrupt. Let's take on uh, corrupt Uniswap. See, they wasted the whole time. They could be higher valuations now. So the, the, the corrupt SEC was coming for them anyway. 
What a squandered opportunity. Absolutely silly. What's not silly, though, is the ETH BTC price. Isn't it funny, right? As we see Bitcoin and Ethereum go down, ETH BTC, friends, is starting to go up. Interesting. It's kind of telling you, hey, even though the market's going down, Ethereum is ready, ready to rock. That's what we really want to see. It's going to take a while, though. We just don't know when, but we know eventually it's coming. Now, a lot of people watching this Richard Hart trade. I mean, friends, I just, I don't care. I, don't, I told you, man. I told you. I told you. So. Let's put on monthly chart. Okay. Now, on the other charts, this wasn't a red candle. It's kind of like this, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He buys on the seventh green monthly candle in a row. Of course, friends. It's, you know, it's funny. I'm trying to teach people. Not to FOMO, because I'm telling you, guess what? Richard's Richard's rich. He he's got a lot of money, and he can afford to make mistakes like that. You can't though. Okay, you can't afford to make mistakes like that. You make a mistake like that, you get butchered. For example, uh, you still bag holding something after three years. Maybe we participated in a sacrifice. Yes, we bought high. That's buying high, friends. You understand? Like, like you are buying at what? Well, so you go back to the sacrifice. It wasn't at the sacrifice. We were buying at the end of a four-year run of crypto. Three years of up only. Okay, it went up 2019. It went up 2020. It went up 2021. Three years of green candles, and then we participated in a, in, a, in an ICO equivalent. So you can't do that, friends. You got to be exiting on that time. So that's the people who win, right? The many people were entering. We had to be exiting in that year. That's why it's going to be super important to pay attention now. When it comes to this, of course, yes, it's going to come back. Hopefully, it comes back. He's probably going to make a tweet. When it comes back here, he'll say like, hey, guess what? I didn't buy the top, etc. But that's why I'm just, just be careful, man. Be careful. It's also interesting. There are a lot of like these, uh, there's always like ego-driven people. Whenever I just say like, hey, man, you guys got to be careful. There's always someone who says, he's better than you. He's better than you. And I'm like, oh, bro, you sound so sad. You know when they say he's better than you, so friends? That is... A 2020 and 2021 Richard Hart streaming talking point because he kept telling people, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. He made the whole industry hate him. And basically, friends, what, read between the lines. Why was Richard going out and telling people, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Why was he saying that? It's because you gave him 150,000 ETH and he was so convicted on Vitalik sending Ethereum to the moon, he could afford to tell people that. Okay. Then when the corrupt SEC says, hey, we're going to sue you, and now we've basically crushed everything, we're going to try threaten to crush everything, he says, I'm actually humble now. See what I mean? That's, that's friends. The industry can see that. That's why a lot of people don't relate to that. That's why, it's, it's yes, it's, the truth is 99.9% of the industry have seen this, and they don't like it. They're like, yeah, well, rejected. That's why it's a hated coin. That's why I, I think all these people are wrong. That's funny. I think I think they're right about their conclusions about Richard Hart. Hey, I don't like him because of this and that. Yeah, yeah. Con your personality stuff, sweet. But they're investing off emotions, right? You're investing based off, oh, this personality, I don't like them. I do like them. See, but I know people invest with emotions. And I know what can override emotions, money. You know that. I know all their feelings about Richard Hart. The very end, if Ethereum does go to 10K, and he's got 170,000 ETH, which we know 100% proven, and it does rotate in. That's 1.7 billion dollars American. I think all these desperate soy boy, soy girl, paper hand, virgin, pencil neck cucks who have not made it in the cycle thus far, I think they are going to suspend their belief. They're going to drop what they think about Richard Hart, and they're going to come bridge in to chase the money. I think he's basically just going to be handing out money, which is what would handing out money be? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, he could buy Pulse and Pulse X Hex. He could set up a smart contract where everyone has to get the money out. And then maybe like he sets up his wallet so that maybe he draws out like a third of that money. That's personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Like if, if he got a third of the money and then he disperses randomly when he buys stuff and no one knows which wallet is coming up, that's another alternative. Or he could just buy ink because the only way to get the ink is to buy everything on the Pulse X farms. P-Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X. That's another way. I've got to get I've got to getting this yield farm. That's another way to do it. Yeah, I'm sure he has different options. But either way, all those options, I think, entice FOMO to the whole crowd. So that's what your bet is. We're basically, I'm speculating that because he's so hated, okay, when the switch happens, when these people realize, oh my gosh, I should have been buying a long time ago when everyone hated him. When they realize that and they start rushing in now, they think they're early, it might be the end of the cycle. It might be the end of times for Ethereum, okay? 
So now we get to see these blood emojis, friends. That's why I spend, look at this, all this attention to detail. If you know these friends, I take a lot of pride in my work. Blood emoji, blood emoji. But a green emoji for ETH BTC is something happening, friends. Yes, ETH BTC. Friends, Bitcoin's got no more narrative, except, okay, now we've got to onboard the bigger country, which means, okay, now we've just got to wait for US interest rates to basically butcher someone else out there in the world and get them to print money and stuff. There was macro news as well, friends. The US Fed held rates. They said the inflation was high, pretty much continues on. Jay Powell says no rate cuts until inflation is lower than 2%. And I just enter, interject there, it's psyops. Like, yeah, yeah they, they just say that, friends. They're, just, they're trying to talk the market down. But what they do is, friends, like you notice, they use the stock market as a barometer. All right, that's what they do. They use the stock market as a barometer in terms of are things high enough or not high enough? So this is the interesting part. The market front run them, basically. The market knows, okay, if things go bad, you got to cut rates and stimulate anyway. So that's what they're doing right now. Now I'm just putting on a weekly chart. This is what the stock market is. It's funny, man. Everyone in the stock market has lost their minds over this, bro. You're down 4%. Like, just shut up. Like, friends, if you, if you have no right at any point to complain about the stock market if you are long stocks. No point at any point if you're long the S&P 500. But you know what, friends? I realized, actually, over time... No one's actually long the S&P 500 that you speak to. They're all long spec stocks and all the other junk. That's why they're hyper leverage. It's like us complaining about a 20% Bitcoin price because so, it makes the altcoins go down 50, 60%. It's funny, right? It's, it's just funny how we're all degens. It's, it's never going away, this spirit. Now, I had some fun here, right? Shout out to my friend Swami here with this wonderful squirrel. Look at this. Now it's 50 weeks to shake out. The strong hands. Oh man, we're having fun. We're having fun, friends. We're having so much fun. It just, it's just, <laughs> it just, you know, why I'm laughing, friends, because it's me. I don't like doing that, but it's like it's a, it's a, it's a tiny, useless, unprofitable personal victory because I got accused of baseless fud, and I was just because because here's the thing, friends. Some people say, "Hey, why don't you time the tops and." Always ask friends, why don't you ever times the tops and time the bottoms? Look, man, even though I can identify stuff, friends, you remember here, right? We hit complacency, Richard Hart failed pump rejection, and then we come back D and everyone was in denial. Like, no, it's something that's making us go down. It's like the crowd knows, the crowd knows, uh oh, we ran out of buyers. Bang, it's over. Remember, this denial on the way down is the same as disbelief, I think, on the way up. I'm pretty sure it matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because denial is like, no. It was you that made it no gain because no one wants to click sell. No one can click sell because they know it's at, not at the dreams, right? And then the disbelief was disbelief. It's like, I can't believe the economy is so bad, but everything continued to go up. And that's what we thought would happen. We thought it was in disbelief, friends. We really thought it was in disbelief. And you don't get these things all the way, right? But we saw this, man. We flipped red on the weekly super trend right here. Isn't that funny? One, two, three, four weeks. It's just become more and more reality, right? If we map it out, how long it took for Hex to basically flip green in from 2021, it's like, you know, September, August. I mean, it's, if we get a left translated cycle, what if this just moves up like this and then flips, green? yay, and then we're like still dog shit. It's still possible, man. It's just, it's disgusting what it's done. That's why I had so much fun here. Look at the log, look at the log chart, Cope, friends. We broke through this. The, this is just, <laughs> that's I was laughing. We broke through it straight away. We just did, 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 did. Like it didn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> just ignored it. It's just funny. That was like the the last remaining thing that Richard Hart's copium posts were. All right, we can't measure from the all time low because they're dog shit. We can't measure against Bitcoin and Ethereum because we're absolutely obliterated and it looks like an absolute piece of trash performance right now. We can't even measure. We can't measure against anything else. Let's draw this little line. <laughs> the mark and just goes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, man, it's funny. By the way, BNB, Corridanzo, Matic, all these other chains, man, they, they can't pump against ETH2. It's the same thing. Oh, you can also see, right, Pulsex, friends. Pulsex obliterated beyond the imagination. We are back below corrupt SEC. Just want to tell you, friends, why are we back here? Because the corrupt SEC only sent us where we were going to go anyway. Do you now see what I'm talking about? It sent, so people say, oh, I would have never gone here without the corrupt CCC. Uh, yes, a chart pattern that looks this vertical down was going to head down here anyway. Okay, that is what it is, friends. I've been in markets, like, I know people have, have opinions, but I can, friends, I'll bet, I know we can't bet on other timelines in the universes, but I'll bet all three of my testicles 
that we were going to head there anyway, even without the corrupt SEC. All right, I, I promise you that. I can promise you that, friends. I'll literally, I'll bet my heart, lung, three nuts, kidneys, everything. All right, and that's pretty much how much I've seen markets. They just go to where you want to go. These news and these catalysts just push it to places where it was heading anyway. It's it's a it's a strange phenomena. Okay, it really is. It's almost like extreme euphoria has to be ma matched in in markets with extreme depression. Okay, it's and friends, look. I, I hate to say it, but other people watching this chart, look. Let's look. Let's bring up Paul Shane for example, because Paul Shane's the best looking chart and still looks atrocious. Look, I'm just being honest. Many people say this is Richard Hart's karma for saying he's better than everyone, poking everybody, um, outrage marketing while everything goes down, having extreme arrogance, all this uh, outrage marketing stuff. And everyone's like, yeah, we don't buy it. Yeah, that, that, that's, that, a lot of people would say that. But it's, it's kind of sad that everyone's suffering for it. But then uh, what's the gaslighting? No, 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 you click still. It is what it is, friends. That's right. I just think the market's basically going ahead of itself. Like, really? It's not this bad. <laughs> You know what I mean? There's, have you seen the communities on there? The communities are strong. Now, going back, I just have some nice, cute in insertions here, friends. So we have these main characters of crypto. Okay, people who like lots of followers. GCR, bullish. Cat, bullish. Okay, two very, very great traders, respected. Obviously, GCR, greatest forecaster in the world. Cat is obviously just a cat, right? Guy who presents to be a cat on the internet. Don Alt is bearish. This is that means it's very, very, very bullish. Actually, this guy's been fading the move the whole time. It's actually funny. He's been literally fading move. That's good, Vin. That's what you want. Technical traders and leverage traders and stuff. A lot of them just become so skeptical in the world. They just stick to their own like bread and butter trading like that. They can't ever like go to where the puck is going because they don't really need to. But guess what? All their followers stay wrecked, spinning their wheels for a long time. Because they're just watching some person who's like, oh, I'm very skeptical and everything's a scam. Yeah, everything's a scam. But guess what? Everyone gets rich along the way because of all these growing network effects that you're not taking advantage of. Now, we also have our friend Data Dash, Nick. Nick, our friend Data Dash, is still bearish. I mean, friends, every time I check on him, I have no... Oh, man, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice to see. Bitcoin dumps. You are being lied to about the Bitcoin ETFs. You probably are. This is the thing. I'm just going to tell Nick. Yeah, we are being lied to about them. But... We're destined for higher. That's it. We're destined for higher. There are too many poor people out there. And I think as we go higher, the market, sorry, the government will have to unlock more ways to choke us. They haven't unlocked all of them yet. Self-custody ban, all these other FUD and all these things going out. Also, enjoy this, this Wojak with the tank brain. I love, I love just seeing this Wojak with the brain stuff, friends. It's kind of funny. Everyone thinks they're smart on the internet. Not smart anyway. We're just a bunch of monkeys. It's got peanut brains. That's it. Now, I want to show you something, friends. Um, I've got some Plan B data. Now, obviously, Plan B was became like a basically main character of crypto. Bitcoin never hit 100K, and then everyone kind of gaslights it to get at the end. Now, two months ago, right, Plan B believed Bitcoin would not go below 61K. However, so a lot of people will say, well, he was wrong, he was wrong. No, no, no. It's, I think it's monthly closes. So I said, however, he probably refers to monthly closes. Usually, we bounce off the short-term realized price zone. So what I'm going to show you right now is... They have a short-termers retailer realized price, the short-term average line here, okay? So don't worry about how they calculate it. You see up here, we are on this blue dot. So if you go along, friends, I know it's hard to see, but if you notice the red dots here, they they bounce off the, the very, very light blue and they keep going up. This one, they collapse. This was the double bubble. This was a double bubble euphoria, okay? But if, if we go to, let's say, this part up here now, we are along the baby blue line every time, okay? And if we do go under it, you know, this is after a, after a halvening, right? So we're looking at this stuff after a halvening. And if we look at it up here, we are on right under the blue line right now, right now. So I don't think it has closed yet, or maybe it has closed for that month, but just showing you that historically, after the halvening, we go basically turbo bull mode. And what I've done is actually I've shown, I've zoomed up here for you just to show you we are like on the blue line. This is after the halvening, right? We've had the halvening and now here we are continuing. Also, this is the, the stock to flow model. I know a lot of people joke about it, friends, but man, do you go, do, look, it's forecasting 550K Bitcoin. Look, man, even at 250K, we've won. We've won. Like the way I see it, at 100K, we've won. That's what the way I'm seeing it. I'm sure you would think the same too. Like that's what we pretty much got to get through our heads. He also repeats, Plan B believes we are going well above 100K this year. I hope he's right. So that's the most important part that, yes, we get our timeline zone where we actually keep going up. 
I also want to have a laugh at this. The people selling Bitcoin, friends, they are selling for dog shit 7% return. 7% pathetic return. Wall Street scum are here to literally peel off 7% and call it a win. Let me show you what my diamond butt can do, dick with butt. So you can see this by the chart. They realize return. That's why they, this like blue. They actually, literally, it's a 7% return. So that's what they do, friends. I know it's kind of funny. They insert capital. They have like, okay, don't worry about this um, this moving average. We're, we're long above this like long-term moving average. And they're just they're like, okay, it's done well for the month. They get out. That's what they do. They, they, it's funny. They're, these boomers, right? They're literally boomers. Because they're playing with other people's capital, they have to trade off retailers, which is, it could be like some dude, some Russian dude or someone who's like, you know, a, a, has like a $3 billion net worth, $100 million family, whatever. These Wall Street scum, they're trading on behalf of them and they know these people are not investors and these people will feel emotion. So if they lose and the market went up, these people are like, get out, get out, I'm going to the other bank. I'm going to go to JP Mosquito because they're in Goldman Slugs right now or whatever when they are. However, if they make money, these people don't know shit anyway. So you can even see with your real life friends, if the stock market is up 8% for the year, but you're up 12% for a retailer, they're like, yeah, they don't know anything. <laughs> Bitcoin's got up like 900% or, or dick with butts are up 120x, 11,200%. They, you know, they, they don't care. They don't know. But if you're down, they're like, oh, golly, you know what I mean? Like they, they don't get the game. That's why these people, they have to, they have to constantly trade the short term momentum trash buying high to sell higher and because they're just they're just trying to get a tiny bit of alpha on the stock market just to keep these people's money in because they're taking the fees off them that's why but if you were trading yourself you would do more research and not play this game would you you just be holding but that's you not them so where to from now friends well we are around with this bitcoin 58k i saw blockchain backer friends he had, <laughs> he had this wee <laughs> look we've just come back down here man i don't know I don't know, friends. I know everyone thinks it's going to go up forever, but look, if every Bitcoin halvening has been like a 39% drop, I hope we don't have one. We'll see, man. This is just, hello, Mr. Level, you didn't hold. Have you noticed, friends, but like, where's the FUD? Where's the FUD? There's no FUD right now. Like, where's the where's the bad news programmed? We're lower than when we had the fake World War III FUD. It's just, see, there's no, just, this, the market just goes to where it's going to go. And the news is all basically fake. Look at this. We, just, we cracked lower. What's it? So then you get to see, friends. In any market, there are always sellers. Why? There are always people living their life who are either discovering other opportunity that they need the money for, who are running out of patience, who are running out of their trade, who are soy boy virgin cucks, who just believe the strategy is over, who need to take profit to like pay bills. There's always sellers. Naturally, there's always people on the, from the bids. They always need to take USD from the bid. So if they take USD, they're dumping the asset and the price is going down. So there's always sellers again. So they are not the dictator of a bull market or bull phase or bull cycle ending. They are not. Who is the actual dictator? It's the buyers. Okay. The sellers are always in the game, friends. So when we go down, what's actually happened is... We've run out of bias for this period of time. It's got nothing to do with, oh, this big miner dumped or this guy's selling because this fee. No, no, no. We've just run out of bias. The people who felt good to buy are like, oh, I don't feel good anymore. I'm going to sit back on my chair. Those types of people. So that's why the end of the bull market, we have to be looking for signs that we've exhausted all the buyers somewhere. That's where we might have Coinbase App Store ranking number one. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God. Yeah, they're just looking for signals like that. Okay, but... More about that later. Make sure you like, subscribe, better than all. Catch you soon.